Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. About to go do some lure fishing for bass to start with. This is going to be a different episode this one. We're going to be targeting the gilt head bream as the tide comes up. The first mark we're going to is with the lures. We're going to be trying a, a little mark where you had a nice pollock, eh mate? Yeah. A few months ago, a nice five pounder. So we're going to go back to that. Hopefully we get a few, maybe a bass. And all through the night, we'll be targeting the gilt heads with peeler crab, razor fish. We've got some mackerel. We're just going to be targeting anything that bites, really. So hopefully we get a few guys. Hopefully the bass are biting, so stay tuned. It's smash fishing. Got a big three meter landing net with us now. Cape of, well, that's my foot compared to it. Just in case a big fish comes up. It's free, it's an extendable one to three meters. So we're, we're well prepared today. It's a bit windy this first spot, but this, the, the second spot, the wind, we'll be in a sort of an alcove. It's a southerly wind, force four, coming up to a five. But so hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. The bass festival's on at the moment. Woo! So what lures we're using? It sounds to switched up to the good old grub. And I'll be using this little jig head. Weedless. We're fishing over snaggy ground at the moment. And when we hit the beach later, we'll be fishing over shallow rough ground, but there's sandy patches in between. There's a lot of gilt head around that spot. I'll give you a glimpse of what we're going to be doing, the setups to fish for them and the baits. So stay tuned guys. This one's going to get epic. It's sort of ground we're going to be fishing over guys for the bass. Woo. We're only going to be here for about an hour or so. It's just a quick blip. It's just because there's so many fishermen out tonight. We want to get to what mark and stay there. And hopefully the gilt heads come to munch on the peelers. But for now, a nice few schoolies or a big bass would be nice. I'll try and avoid the wind as much as I can. Woo! We're excited guys. We're gonna fish straight through the night till morning. We're not messing today. Looking lovely. Bass central baby. So big it's a lot of weed ground, a lot of peelers and small fish in between. This is exactly what the bass are looking for. We're going right to the point, so it's a long track. We're gonna try not to break our rods. Woo! Fishing with a, a new rod now. The good old Sonic failed me. I got a pen. Is it a regiment? Pen regiment two. Pen regiment two. 20 to 50 gram. It's a lovely lure rod. I'm yet to christen it with a bass, so hopefully tonight's the night. <laughs> Using quite a fairly slow retrieve on these guys. Some big boulders in front of me. I've got my back to the uh, wind at the moment. Some big fish here in the past. Sam had his PB Pollock off the shore here as well. Be nice for any fish to come up. Something you can see in your local bass marks, guys. Look at that for a lobster. Absolutely tiny. <laughs> Armed and ready to go. Hell yeah, we're gonna put him back now. Look how small that thing is. <laughs> Eventually, he'll grow up to be a nice four pounder, and that'll be my snack. Hell yeah. Making our way back now, guys. No luck on the bass fishing best we've got is a lobster so we're gonna completely change the tactics now we're gonna go target some gilt head bream we're gonna bass fish in between so hopefully we get some better luck doing that possibly some normal bream some black bream red bream possibly a bit of anything really so we'll see what we can get we're gonna make our way through all these treacherous rocks they'll take us about half an hour to get back get set up and we'll show you the tips and tactics for a peel of crab and all the rest of what we got. So stay tuned guys. Just got to our new mark guys. The tide ain't quite high enough for us to fish yet. But we're just showing you what we're fishing over. It's all grass beds. There's a few like blow holes in the sand where the fish have been feeding and stuff like that. There's a better example of one. Nice imprints and they're all over the bay as well. That's a good sign. 
It's always good to study your marks. Further up, we hit shallow rough ground. It's going to be sort of patchy sand. Ooh, the bass are going to come in. Got a good feeling about tonight, guys. Just getting set up now, guys. What we're using today is flapper rigs. Basically, I'll do a video to show these, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks. So what we've got is freeway swivel, down to a second freeway, and on the bottom, the bottom loop is a clip for your weight. And we have one snood at the bottom, which will lay flat on the seabed, and further up, the second one, and then size 3-0 or 2-0 hooks because we're, we're not after the small fish today and that's the same on every rod the bait we've got we've got a big selection today we've got we've got a bit of mackerel just in case there's any other species we've got razors we've got peeler crab ragworm not much ragworm but we've got a little bit and black logworm Ideal baits for gilt head, apart from the mackerel, not so much. But all three of these are absolutely killer. And through the night, we'll be showing you how to rig these up on the hooks. And hopefully, in between, we can pull up a few gilt head. Hopefully, Sam can catch his first one, which will be a lovely thing for the channel. How we're baiting up these uh, peelers, guys. We're just going to give you a little run through of how we prep these. We're just taking the legs off, getting the crab peeled itself. get it all out look at that these are by far one of my favorite baits they're very expensive but when you're after a fish that you're dying to catch these are the number one go-to's and all you're doing is just working your way slowly around the crab taking off as much shell as you can some people fast and take every little bit off but you don't have to the fish are going to eat it as long as your hook point is exposed Just taking out the belly shell. Some stick quite a lot, some don't. Bits and bobs. Like so. A few more leg sockets. There's some inner shell inside. All I do personally is crush it. And you'll feel it just go a bit limp. That's what you want. Get that bit out. And that there is a perfect little bait. And all you're doing now, this is my personal way of doing it. You're cutting halfway through the crab, like so. Pulling it out long ways. Get a baiting needle, or in this case we've got a French boom. They work perfectly. And you're threading it in one side. And straight out the other, like so. Perfect little bait. In this case I'm going to put a little bit of razor fish with it. These are the sort of baits we're going to be fishing with today. And all you're doing is it laying it so it's like a sausage straight over your needle. Find the end of your bait elastic. And you start whipping. You want a perfect little sausage. This will pick up anything. We're after bass and gilt head bream today. But we could pick up big wrasse in the morning. We could pick up black bream. You name it, there's anything on this mark. So we're hoping we've got our fingers crossed, but our main goal is gilt head bream today. That's for sure. I like to put a fair bit. We give, give a little tug, pull it off. That there is ideal for any fish that. That's a peel of crab and razor fish sausage. The juice, you can see the juice on the rocks. This absolutely stinks. And all you're doing to put it on the hook, I've got a size 2-0 two, on this one. You go straight in, just like a worm, like so. You pull it over the end of the hook, and that there is, is just perfect for any fish. And what you could also do is put a panel, a top hook, and all you're doing is thread it round, wrap it round a few times and put it on the end. 
that'll just add your chances but we're in snaggy ground today so we don't want too many hooks that there is perfect if a fish swallows that we're going to be laughing guys so stay tuned hopefully we get some So all the rods baited up, ready to go guys. Got peeler crab and razor on this one. Logworm and razor on this one, all wrapped into sausages. Peeler and logworm sausage on this one. And a logworm and razor on that one. Sam's doing the same, he's, he's varied them all up. He's got straight logworm sausage there. You see his hand. <laughs> Black log, eh? You gotta love it. But if you can dig fresh blow log, Oh, absolutely amazing bait, highly recommended. Any sort of worm baits will just slay fish, especially gilt heads and stuff. Mussels, limpets, anything like that, they'll eat them. First fish of the night, guys. Woo, it feels like a good fish. I'm buzzing, if you can't tell, baby, first cast. Let's just pray it stays on, guys. This is on whole peel of crab baits, guys. Big logworm bait. I'm just going a little bit softer now because I don't want to pull the hook. Where's the net, mate? Gonna have to bear with us a little bit, guys. We just gotta get organized. This is first cast, literally five minutes. And this feels like a good fish if it's not uh, wrapped in weed. Ed, it's fighting like mad. I've got a dead right arm. This is what we wanted, smash fishing, baby. I'm trying not to get too excited just in case I lose it. Is that smooth down? It is, it's a bullos. Oh, it's a conga. That's a big one. <laughs> Woo, big conga, guys. Hell yeah! I thought this was a giveaway. That's a nice one. Yeah. Is his neck gonna fit it? I don't know, mate. But we're gonna fly. Hell yeah! Smash fishing, baby. Let's hope my trace just holds out. Sam's gonna try and get as much footage of it as he can. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. I thought this was a big gill at the way it's swimming. Right. How are we gonna do this? Um you hold the camera mate and uh, I'm gonna walk my way round. Drop me in the net. You can do it, yeah? Yeah, I'll net it guys and then uh, Sam will do the uh, the honors with the camera. Holds out. Woo! Oh, swimming away. Get Big one. To me to hold the rod. No, you... Oh, she's got her. She's in the net, baby. Woo! Smash fishing. Get that bad boy up there, Sam. Hell yeah. <laughs> On the peel of crab, baby. Oh, that's a big one. That's a 20. That's a 20 for sure. Woo! We're going to get ourselves composed, guys. We'll get the hook out and give you a better show. Smash fishing, baby, on the pillar. Just getting myself composed, guys. The conga's safe there. 
I'm guessing 25 pounder for sure. This was on a 25 pound trace and all. Absolutely fantastic. What a fight. I thought that was a huge guilt head. I was totally wrong. The way that thing was darting around. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna quickly weigh the net like this. And then we're gonna weigh the fish in the net. I think it's the safest way. I don't wanna damage its gills or anything like that. Oh, would you know? One pound dead. One pound dead, all right? Yeah. All right, where's the hook? In its mouth, just in the corner, mate. All right. Let's try and not get bitten. I'm just gonna use the scales to, oh, look at that. Lucky. Fell out. 25 pound trace, guys. And this is a 20 pound conga all day. Woo! Took a whole crab bait. Right, one pound the uh, the net weight. You ready? Oh, no, that's kilos. Come here. I've teared it by accident. Right, pounds. Teared pounds. Right, it's locked, 22 pound, nine. nine five. So 20, what, 21 pound conga on a 25 pound trace, guys. Woo, look at that. Let's see if I can get him up. Oh, it's a fatty. Come on, steak. We'll wait for him to calm down a bit, guys, and then we'll, we'll get you a shot. I'm gonna put this fish. There's the fish, guys. 21 pound conga, 21.9 pound on a 25 pound trace on peel of crab, gilt head fishing. Whoa, what an absolute monster. Oh, buzzing. This is fish is so lively, it's gonna go back like hot cakes. Woo, we're gonna get a few pictures now, guys. I'm gonna get you a stunning release. I'm over the moon, let's go get some more. We're gonna get this fish in the net, guys. We're gonna go down to the steps and get it released. We've got a few pictures now. Ah, oh, over the moon, we're gilt head fishing. This was caught on a 25 pound trace. How it came in, I don't know. Well, I was about 50 yards out there, over rough ground and all. All right, here we go. 21 pound, eh, mate? Cracker. Beautiful fish. Woo! The spot we're fishing, we've got some nice depth to go down to get this released. Oh, wasn't mate. Conga madness, eh? Oh. He's not gonna need reviving this fish, guys. You got a good view, mate? Beautiful. Ready? Oh, it's fine. Ready? Very lively. Come on. There you go, look at that for an absolute beast, guys. That is a stunner of a fish. Absolutely amazing. Look at him going off, eh? <laughs> Cruising his way to course havoc, guys. Let's go get a gilt head, hopefully. Woo! Fresh baits are on, guys. Back on the pier of crab and razor fish. How I landed that conger, I don't know. The hook was wedged right in the corner of his mouth. That was more luck than anything. Hopefully we get a few gilt head or a nice bass on the channel. But this trip's already made. <laughs> so anything now is just a bonus. Sam's got his rods out. I'm gonna back to cast my, my one out. I had to bin that rig. It was a complete mess. Woo! Buzzing guys, let's go get some more. Nothing better than a sunrise, guys. Looks absolutely beautiful. Can't beat that. We're getting lots of little bites at the moment, but no fish landed so far. Both my rods are out, Sam's are out. We've just rebaited all of them with fresh peeler and logworm baits. Sam's is setting up a nice peeler there. Still got tons of baits, so we're gonna be fishing for a while yet. Yeah? We're gonna fish the tide right up. This spot's starting to get a bit, uh, close to the water as you can see so once we get thrown off this spot we're going to head to a different one i've just got a bite guys check that out 
Yeah. So I'm gonna sort this out. If we hook him, guys, you will know. Guys, I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. One black bream. Hell yeah. It's not the it's not the target species, but it's nice to see the fish all the same. Woo! Oh, I don't spy, mate. This is what we wanted. Some nice different species. Hell yeah. Oh, get this on hooked. Hell yeah. Gonna get down the steps and get a little release. No gill, Ed, but it's a bream nonetheless. And he's off. Let's go get some more, guys. The fish are turned up. Woo! We're getting pushed off our spot now. We got one bream, one big conga. We could be moving. Oh, that's another bite. <laughs> Just as I was showing the camera to the screen, to the uh, rods. Woo! All excited, guys. I'm gonna turn the camera off. See Day if we can get him. Arrived, guys. The head torches are packed away, making it easy filming for us. We've moved up now because the spot we were fishing is completely covered. People are gonna know where we were fishing from the other footage, so I don't really mind showing this one. There's no gilt heads, not yet. We're still fishing, we're gonna continue. Fish on, guys. Woo! It's come out of nowhere. Not really sure what it is. It's giving a good little fight. I can't remember what I had on here. Could be a bream, another black bream maybe. Could be a bass since the daylight's come. Give a good little run at the start, eh, mate? Yeah. It doesn't feel massive, but. Come on. The ras. Nice one. Can you reach that all right, mate? Nice. Thank you, mate. Look Another that. species to add to the list of tonight. Tonight has been so weird. We went out for the gill heads and we've just had a great stamp. We had congas to 20 pound, ras to what, what do you reckon? Three? Three, yeah. Yeah, three pound. Little black bream. Not many fish, but the stamp's been great. We're just praying for a gill head, but at the moment, we don't mind. This is great. What's it? Oh, he swallowed it. No, he hasn't. Get him unhooked. What did that eat? That ate the black logworm, that one. Hook come out perfect. Woo! Gonna walk him down. He doesn't flap out my hand. Oh, pictures. We're gonna get a few pictures, guys, and get you a show. I'm getting spined. Woo! Smash fishing. Gonna get his fish released now, guys. Got a quick couple of pictures. Here, go off well. Try and get you a nice release. And he's gone, guys. My hand is completely spined. I got all the way through the finger there. Look at that, beautiful. A bit of claret for some good stamp of fish. Let's go get some more. That's all the rods out now, guys. All baited up again. Woo! Doing well so far. Little bit of a mixed bag today. Came out for the gilt heads, like I said before, but sometimes you just can't get them, eh, mate? Woo! The baiting's been good, eh? Different sort of tactics, different tips for the guys. So hopefully this uh, this video will come in handy to you for, this is basically a multi-species fishing day. That's what I'm gonna label it as. It was gilt heads, but we don't catch one, it's not going to be one, but can't say we ain't had a good fun, eh, mate? There's still time. Still time yet? Hell yeah. Woo, stay tuned, guys. Another species, species number four, guys. Not something I particularly like catching, but since it's a species day, why not? Check that out. This is called a common eel.
These are absolutely horrible to catch. Common eel. So that's two species of eel on the channel today, the conga and the common. And this is species number six, the goby or a blenny. <laughs> Hell yeah. Stay tuned guys, we'll get these unhooked and we'll get you a better show. It's a species day, that's for sure. These are absolutely awful to catch guys. You can see they will absolutely slime your line up to high heaven. Luckily I've hooked it just in the corner of the mouth. These are so hard to hold. Oh, there you go. They are absolutely horrible things these. <laughs> I got him. Well, there you go. That's a better show. This is called the common eel. See the green sort of look to him. The face is completely different. Come here. All right, we've got the fish, guys. Common eel. I think that's a blenny. Here they get these fish released. These are absolutely horrible. I haven't caught one in a while, thank God. Look, he's sliming me. He's all over. <laughs> oh God, they're a nightmare. And the blennies just want to bite you. As you can see, he's saying hi. <laughs> oh. oh wow, can't argue with that. What's that, six species sir? Uh, yeah, I think so. Tonight, give him a little throw. There you go, he's off. Glad he's off. Woo! We're gonna pick up the rest of the rods. See if we can get something, guys. Woo! You're gonna flip him. Flip or die, baby. Flip or die. Ah, oh, there you go. Well, that's not a bad rasp, mate. Woo! We'll get Sam down. We'll get you a better Sam's show, guys. Fish, guys. Little rasp. Flapping about. Lost, We're gonna get... Yeah, it's nice, eh? Oh, let's get him released. Nice colours on these. We'll get a few pictures and get you released, guys. Gonna get a fish released, guys. We were fishing right down there before. Tides come right up. The fish is floating guys, that's something that happens in fishing, we can't do nothing about it now. Oh well, we're going to get the rest of the rods up, make a move. This is the last Woo. rod up guys, another little wrasse, beautiful little thing, and a rock. So we've got the rocky, the rock, we're fed up, we've been fishing all night, we're going to go home. We get this fish released now guys, we don't like keeping our fish. If we keep them, it's very rare. Little toss down, and off it goes. Back down to the depth. That's all for today's episode, guys. We're absolutely shattered. We've been fishing all night, eh, mate? Yeah, soaked as well. Soaked, it's just started absolutely hammering it down. We were fishing through the showers, but what an unexpected day. Yeah, really weird. <laughs> yeah, strange. We come out for the gilt head, end up getting conga to 21 pound. Rass, what else? Black bream. Black bream. Common eel, Common eels, yeah. we're not functioning very properly at the moment because we're so tired. We're all fish like now. my channel guys, like and subscribe, it's Smash Fishing.